Hello everyone, uh, this is Praneet Gubala from Walmart. Uh, today I will be talking about uh, Sam's Club Conversational AI. So let's go briefly uh, about uh, Sam's Club. Sam's Club started in 1993 uh, by Sam Walton, uh, who is the founder of Walmart. And the purpose of Sam's Club is to serve the small businesses and entrepreneur, entrepreneurs to buy the large amount of quantities or the products for lesser, lesser uh, cost. And over the, over the period of time, uh, it has been, uh, Sam's Club is being used by the large families, whoever has the uh, family size of four plus. And we have around 600 clubs in the United States with 100,000 club associates. Yeah, so uh, coming, coming about the clubs and uh, people who ever works at the uh, Sam's Club, so they every day, day to day, they have a lot of questions to run their businesses, like they need some information to uh, look into it for the customers. So the, for example, questions are like, uh, do we have chicken bites in stock? And like, who is working in the bakery tomorrow? or uh, like uh, how many rotisserie chicken bite do I need to prepare today? And what is the item number for avocado salsa? And something like, uh, can you print sign for apples? So all these kind of questions, like uh, the club associate used to get daily to run the Sam's Club business. Yeah, so to answer all these questions, uh, the people who works in the club, they have to uh, go over the club uh, to look for the information or find any associate who knows uh, about the question. Instead of uh, by having having a easy access to answer all these questions, it helps our ability to sell products and maintain a good uh, customer service. So we have asked Sam. Ask Sam is a virtual assistant that helps associates to answer all these questions. Uh, let's look at some use cases. Uh, related to product information, like if you ask uh, how much Baby Shark cereals do we have in stock. So it gives us like uh, the location of the product and how many quantities, quantities are present in the club. If you see uh, it present in this location and these are the quantities for the product. And let's look at scheduling information. Yeah, so if club associate want to know who is working in the pharmacy department today, so they can ask like who is working and it gives us like uh, the pharmacy schedule for today, like Kevin is working from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and like that. And let's look uh, some more use cases related to uh, recipe preparation. If associates are looking to uh, for a recipe preparation, they can ask like uh, how to make asparagus recipe. So it will show them like uh, the recipe preparation video on the spec sheet. Yeah. So one more use case is like if they are uh, they are looking for preparation count for French uh, French bread uh, for the today. So it, they can ask like how much French bread do I need to bake today. So it will show like uh, the prep plan and prep, prep count for the French bed. So these are like few use cases that ASAM can answer out of many. Yeah. Since its launch in March 2019, ASAM answered like more than 4 million questions. And out of them, uh, like 94% of associates use it repeatedly on weekly basis. And it handles like 700 requests per second. So uh, when we uh, started uh, our journey last year, uh, we had to overcome a lot of issues to serve the scale of Sam's Club. So we built a natural language processing platform to address uh, to support the voice-based assistants and uh, text-based assistant. 
the first problem we ran into was like there was no user interface where like users can really go over and tag the utterances to the intent and label the entities to it. And, and Sam's Club, uh, in there are a lot of products, uses, uh, uses the voice interface to, to enable the voice to their applications. Yeah, so, so this, uh, to handle all these issues, we developed a uh, developer console interface. Uh, this is this is a uh, one of the in, uh, intent called product lookup so if you see here uh, there are uh, the developers labeled some utterances to the intent saying product lookup and they tagged some product uh, product information with these uh, and item name item number labels to it so yeah so so next problem uh, we ran into was like uh, the training time of these models and uh, our, our machine learning models used to take more time, depends on their training data size. So to combat this issue, we separated our uh, entities training from intents and created a dozen, dozens of standalone entities which are pre-trained based on a huge uh, set of annotated data. So we we integrated all those pre-trained entity models uh, in the developer console interface. Like if we see at the slide, so we have uh, entities like uh, product name, email, date, recipe, department name, etc., which is like very uh, custom to our Sam's Club business. So people whoever uh, wants to create any uh, virtual assistant or any chatbot they can leverage these entities and they can uh, train the intent models so that it, it actually saves the time for them because these are the entities trained on a very huge set with proper data augmentation and they are fine tuned with a, yeah, good, with a good test sets also. Yeah, so our next problem is like, uh, so it, it, was, it is uh, always being uh, confusing to have multiple uh, models, like uh, there are two types of intent classification model, like where you uh, classify given a text belongs to which intent, and then uh, trying to extract the entity, entity from the text. So to address this issue, we uh, developed a training manager. So that actually uh, shows like, uh, uh, yeah, allow us to uh, kick off the jobs for uh, uh, the entity models. Like if you see global entities, like the entity models and the intent models. So we can start whatever uh, types of model we want to retrain and we can see the statuses. Yeah, next coming about uh, the accuracy of these models, like uh, we are uh, using an ensemble of uh, sequence to sequence labeling models uh, and intent classification models for the for the text classification and entity extraction in model serving part so we are also integrating uh, the bert models to replace any one of the one of our uh, machine learning algorithms for nlu and ner so all these machine learning models uh, performance depends on the training data, what they trained on. So basically, uh, whatever uh, the intent that you train on any project, again, uh, you are going to see the intent classifications, like the uh, virtual assistant is uh, classifying to another intent instead of the other one. So all these misclassifications. So to so basically we have like millions of questions that are being asked daily and like uh, over the period. So it became nearly impossible to uh, go over all the data and continuously learn from it. So we uh, have an approach like that selects automatically training data from the logs that is like active learning. So instead of every time you annotate on random samples of data, we'd like to annotate only on the most informative examples uh, from the logs to reduce the uh, error rate of NLU system. So here, 
if you see in this slide, uh, if you pick, a, pick an intent called order status, and these are all the most informative uh, training utterances that we found from the log. And with the, we are going to prioritize by the score. It's like the lower, lower the score is how it has the more information to learn from it. So the algorithm we followed is like we trained like multiple, uh, multiple classifiers with different loss functions for each intent. And we selected all the low, low scoring samples low scoring samples as in like where uh, where exactly our machine learning models models are trying to struggle struggle to classify it and we we used our ensemble ner models scored to prioritize uh, by the small score like we ranked them using our uh, ner models yeah so so here if you observe like uh, here we can accept this utterance or reject the utterance so every time any new domain, any new intent classification model is trained, and you can come and select uh, whatever the intent you want to see, whether you can learn anything from the logs. So if you uh, go and select here, it will show the suggestions from recent logs. And here you can accept it and reject it. So if you feel like, yeah, uh, the, this is like human in the loop, so human has to take the final call. Like instead of automatically, these are getting added to the intent. Yeah. Uh, coming to future plans, uh, so we are we are planning to add uh, add a question and answering system to our platform to answer uh, questions uh, to answer the questions from a certain documents uh, or like kind of snippet extraction feature. And complex query understanding is like uh, understanding the intent of very complex and lengthy sentences. Uh, so extracting the entities from those sentences to improve the system. And have some deep personalization to users. So something like uh, providing more personalized response to the users in our products. And seamless context switching, so basically if if a user is at a one context, like uh, he asked to uh, show me product apples, and then he can immediately ask, like, print sign of that product. So there is a slot, uh, slot values we need to carry into the another context, so that we are building a system that should uh, perform, like, seamlessly uh, carrying these slot values, depending on the follow-up context. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>